Hey guys, so I wanted to give y'all another video since I am self-quarantining. Did I use that word? I'm not sick. Since I'm staying at home because of everything that's going on right now. And I heard that you can't speak about it on YouTube or YouTube will block your video. So, and I heard that if you say YouTube too many times, YouTube will <laughs> block your video. So yeah, I've been here, I've been at home chilling. I have my chilling Chicago t-shirt on, but I want to give y'all a haul video. This stuff I purchased months ago so it's more like winter stuff but um depending on where you live you can probably still wear this stuff even though spring is approaching is spring here hey siri when is spring she's gotta think about it she said one second i could have just googled this faster <laughs> she says working on it Okay, you know what? That's okay, Siri. I can Google it much faster. Spring is today, <gasps> March 19th. That's when I'm filming. Today is the first day of spring. I have to tell everybody. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, spring is my birthday season. I love spring, the weather is just great. Okay, so, oh, and it was 80 something degrees out today. So that's amazing. So this stuff, I probably will try on and then store it in my closet for winter time. I won't be able to wear it now. It's way too hot. I did make a huge purchase um, from Pretty Little Things. And when I say huge, I mean, a $2,000 purchase from Pretty Little Things. Guys, who is shouting? I work, guys, so. I do have a job. I have a very good job, actually. So I'm able to do these things and I'm so blessed and grateful that I can do this for y'all because it's fun and I like to share what I got with y'all. And I hope y'all like watching my videos even though they end up being 45 minutes long. But it's all good. Okay, so the haul today is a misguided haul. Let's jump right into it. I have no pants on, so we're gonna do a slight jump. Not a full jump, slight jump. All right. Here's the box. For some reason, I like showing y'all the box of stuff. Mango is back there sleeping while I'm just so loud. I don't know how. Here's the box of stuff. We're just gonna take this and dump it out. So we don't have Anthony today, it's just me. I hope I didn't disappoint y'all. So I just picked up the first thing that was on top. This is the blazer jacket snake print from Misguided, size eight. So let's try it on. So here it is. It's not too bad. I think I would like it more opened, but I don't have a shirt up under this. What do y'all think? It's pretty good. Like I said, since it's warming up, I definitely would die in this. What would y'all rate this? Since I don't have Anthony here to rate my outfit for me, what would y'all rate this? Okay, so I got two things that honestly look the same. Um, maybe I was just really into this color. This is the, I'm gonna first try on the, ooh, if I can get it. I'm gonna first try on the corset sweater dress in the color green. So that's this one. All right, here is the next one. I honestly don't know if it's fitting right. Oh my gosh. Do y'all hear these people yelling like, I moved into these apartments and I had no clue that it's 80, if not 95% all college students. I feel like I'm in a student dorm. So yeah, I thought I was done with college, but I guess I'm not. So here's the next outfit. Let me know what y'all think. I'm not sure if it's a little too big or what. But I do like the color. 
All right, so I'm gonna go try on this outfit, which looks exactly like the one I'm wearing. This is called oversized t-shirt dress or set in blue. So apparently this is blue and this is green. All right, and I got this in a size eight. This one is in a size, this one's in a size 10. All right, so this is a size eight and surprisingly it feels like a freaking size 10. What do y'all think? Do y'all like this one better or the other one better? This is actually really cute. Y'all might think, wow, they look exactly the same. But for some reason, in my eyes, they look different. If I had to choose, I think I would choose this one. What would y'all choose? All right, so here is the next outfit. Or not outfit, these are just some pants. Where's the top? Okay, I'm gonna go find a top for this, but this is the tall 90s jogger. Um, I got them in a size 8. I am not tall. I am 5'6". Actually, I'm like 5'5 five, five and a quarter. <laughs> I think that's average. I don't think that's tall, but short people tell me I'm tall. So, it kind of, it's kind of ironic. But anyways, um, and it's in the color gray. I really really like these muted colors like I just like it so much so I'm gonna go find a shirt for this here's what they look like out of the package just some regular um, joggers that you just chill in and be comfortable while we're all stuck at home I don't know if these two will go together but I'm gonna pair it with the long sleeve corset seam bodysuit and I'm gonna open it up so y'all see what it looks like Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they will go together, but we will see. It has a little seam by the booby area. Here is the next outfit. I didn't clip the bodysuit. Um, I never do until I decide, yes, I want to keep it. And then I wash it. I will wash it before I actually wear it. So I didn't clip it, but here it is. Not sure how I feel about <laughs> the bodysuit. What size did I get? Like, it kind of fits tight. I got a size eight, so I don't know why it fits so tight. I could barely get it over my head, and it just fits tight on the arms. And the pants are a size eight as well, and they're actually pretty big on me, I guess because I got the tall. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. This is what it looks like if it's high-waisted. This is not an outfit, guys. I just wanted to show y'all the pieces, so I paired them together. I don't think they really work together, but if y'all like this, go for it. I'll be returning the top if I can. Like I said, I purchased all this stuff in December, so... The next thing I'm going to try on, the next thing that I'm going to try on is this high neck cup belted mini dress in a size 8. So I feel like it's going to look like the other dresses that I tried on. Ooh. So here it is. Alright, so here is that dress. It fits. Pretty tight. It's definitely a mini dress. Make sure my knees ain't ashy. I really like this dress. I like the cups. I like the belt. Simple, but very like sexy and classy and a little edgy. Did I mention it's sexy? I got two items here that I'm going to try on. We're going to try on together. The first item is the boxy crop cardigan. Um, and I got it in a size large. And then the next item is... I'm out of breath, y'all. I'm out of breath. The next item is oversized t-shirt dress corset. 
So it's gonna look like the other ones that I tried on earlier, just in the color stone. And it is a size eight. So I'm gonna go try these on and I'll be right back. So here is the dress in the color. What color was it? Ah, I forgot. I forgot what they said this color is, but this dress is the same as the blue one that I tried on, except in this like tan color or beige colors. I guess when I was shopping, I was really drawn <laughs> into that corset look. So let me know which color y'all like the most. Do y'all like this lighter color or do y'all like that blue color? I said I was gonna try on the cardigan with it, but it did not look good. So I'm gonna try on the cardigan with like a pair of jeans. Um, if I can find a pair of jeans to wear with it. So the next thing I'm gonna try on is the corset hooded sweater dress in taupe. And I got it in a size 10. So I'm afraid it's gonna fit too big, but we will see. Is it cute or not? I do wish I could have gotten a size eight. I do think it's a tad bit big. Um, and it's so funny how the color of this dress kind of blends in with my skin tone. It's a little funny. It's a little, I don't know why when I looked at this dress, the first thing I thought about was a gingerbread man. I don't know why. Oh guys, so apparently I ordered a little tote and I didn't, I don't even remember ordering a bag. So this is the mini metallic iridescent handbag in pink. Ooh, let's see what it looks like. Wow, misguided, y'all really got this wrapped up. <laughs> the big reveal. Wow, what made it me? What possessed? What? Like, let me just go in my bag. There we go. Just get out my phone and my lip gloss. Oh, it comes with a chain. Oh, my. Where am I? What am I supposed to clip it to? I guess it's up here. That works. Oh wow. Clearly I had some outfit idea in my head. <laughs> oh my gosh. This looks like something they would sell in the toy section by the Barbie dolls and by like the plastic little heels that four year olds wear. What do y'all think? Is it cute? I'm definitely going to figure out how to style this. So if you want to see how I possibly style this, please go follow me on my Instagram at Danny Denise. I'll put it on the screen right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed me looking like a gingerbread cookie because that's what I think I look like. The next item is... Bardo tie front crop top. Bardo. 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 How do you pronounce it? Bardot? Or is it Bardo? And the T is silent. Um, Bardo. Bardo. I don't even know. I got it in a size 6. Let me show y'all what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to tie it here or something. I don't know. I'm just going to try it on and y'all will see. I left my bra on. I probably should have took that off. So here's the top. I got some weird half up, half down situation going on. But I believe you tied this. I'm so not sure, you guys. Um, what? What in the what? Oh my. Mm -mm. Okay, so here's the top. I just tied it in a knot instead of a bow tie because honestly is not that much room to tie a bow. Um, I do like the top but I just don't think it fits very well. 
And I really do like the color Rust. That Rust color or Cognac color has really been popular. Maggie. Oh wow, you guys, I got another bag. So, <laughs> let's see what's in this mystery bag because I don't remember this one either. So this is the mini croc handbag in pink. That sounds cute. Woo! Wow. This is crazy because I was just about to buy a bag that looks like this on Poshmark. I'm glad I didn't because I would have had two bags that looked the same. So yeah, here it is. Let me turn down the brightness. Who is shouting? Um, I turned down the brightness so y'all can see it's true color. Um, this is the true color, what you're seeing. I believe, I think. My vision sucks, guys. Um, so yeah. So yeah, here it is. Um, it's actually cute. I think every girl needs a hot pink bag in their wardrobe, so I'll definitely make use out of this one. I don't know about that other one. Here's the next thing I'm gonna try on. I already opened the bag. It is a long bodycon midi dress, I think. It's called Slinky Corset Detail Bodycon Dress in size eight. So I'm gonna go try that on for you guys and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the purple dress. This dress, this dress shows everything. Like everything, um, everything. <laughs> what I didn't know that it, it, that it had the zipper here. I thought the zipper was on the back so you can like get into it, but it's actually gives it like that pull up or pullover t-shirt vibe, pullover shirt vibe, I don't know. So you can zip it up all the way and just look like a floating head. <laughs> um, it's actually choking me right now, but this is cute. It's a cute look, I do like it. This purple looks good, girl. This purple is good. I love the color purple. <laughs> and this might sound conceited, but I love the color purple on me. At least this purple. This purple is like the perfect purple. If there's such thing as the perfect purple, this is the perfect purple, okay? Don't fight me on it. Don't fight me on it. So this is satin mincy. Taylor jacket. What is a mincy? Ooh. Ooh, honey. What? What? I look like a doctor. Yeah, so I low key look like a dentist or an eye doctor. Um, I really wanted a white blazer because I have this outfit idea in my head. So I know why I got this white blazer, but as y'all can see, it's a little too big. Um, I literally look like an optometrist. So, optometrist, optometrist, Up, optometrist. Yes, optometrist. Um, so all I need is just my freaking glasses and. Wow, I really look like a doctor now. Oh my gosh. I'd be the coolest doctor. I'd be the most fashionable doctor. Y'all, wow. I look like I make six figures right now. This is crazy. What the what? Like, let me just, mm. I look like a scientist. Like, oh my gosh. If I was a doctor, would y'all let me be your doctor like if I was a doctor would y'all be my clients I'm curious I'm curious I'm just curious I really want to know for real all right let me take those off the next outfit is petite satin puff sleeve so I guess I got a shirt in the petite section it's in the color rust 
and it is a size 8. So we'll see if it's really petite or not. I just don't believe anymore that when it says petite, that is actually petite. I don't believe it because I bought things from the petite section and it would fit me. And I believe petite is like 5 foot 3 and under. And I'm 5'5 five five if, well, 5'6. One of those. So here it is. And it does look pretty short, but we're gonna go try this on and see if my theory is correct. Is that even a theory? No, hypothesis. I have a hypothesis. No, hypotheses. Is that it? Hypotheses. That don't sound right. We're gonna see if that statement of mine is correct. So be right back. So I believe my hypotheses. Let me just not use that word. I believe my statement that I made is true, guys. I really do. I honestly think I should have got this dress in a size 6 instead of an 8. Because it's really loose in the chest. And it's pretty loose here. So... Yeah, I should've got a size six, maybe even a four, actually. I think it's the length that it's supposed to be, so there's no way this is for petite. Uh, no way. Okay, so is that color again, the mint green color. Oversized t-shirt dress corset. Um, did I order two of the same things? I think I ordered two of the same things. Um, and it does not, uh, um, misguided, I think you're missing something. I don't see the corset that's supposed to go with it. Hmm. Oh well, I swear this is a set, what the heck, what size is this? Size 10, I don't know. I guess I accidentally brought two of the same things, so I'm gonna return that and explain to them that it did not come with the corset. Hopefully I can sell it. If I can't, if y'all want it, I will sell it on my Poshmark slash Mercari. My information is down below. Um, but again, it doesn't have the corset. It's just a, a t-shirt, so. So if you're interested, um, Go to my Poshmark and my Mercari. Just check back and see if it's there. Because I'm gonna try to just return it. But if I can't, I'll sell it on my Poshmark slash my Mercari. So this was hard to get on because the top is attached, but the back isn't. The back part isn't attached. So I was trying to put the dress on and get like this looped around me but I couldn't just slip it on because it was attached here anyways so here it is I like this a lot it's really chill um, I like the color it has the same style as like all the other dresses I tried on with the corset so, um, I don't know if I should name this try-on haul misguided corset dress try-on haul or just a misguided try-on haul. There's definitely a trend going on when I purchased this. I like it a lot. I don't know if this is a part of a collection. Like, but it is a size 8 and it's called the Corset Bust Cup T-shirt dress in the color gray. Here's Mangy for y'all. I don't know if y'all were missing her. My baby, I love you so much. I filmed her in my last video, but I didn't put in that clip by accident, so y'all didn't get to see her. But today, y'all get to see her in all her cuteness. You don't like to be on my left side for some reason. It's so strange. Love you, baby. All right, here's the cardigan that I introduced 
earlier, but I didn't have any jeans. I have jeans now. So, here's what it looks like. And I like to wear it buttoned up and then like tossed over the shoulders or thrown over the shoulders. Y'all already know that. I like to wear everything over the shoulders if I can. So yeah, this cardigan's cute. It looks like you just wear this as a shirt. And you definitely could wear this in the springtime. You can wear it like this with nothing up under it so you don't get too hot. Or on the days where it's just a little bit cool, a little breeze, you can definitely wear this. All right, guys, so that's it for my video. My battery's dying and the sun is setting, so I guess it's time. That means it's time for me to go. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love making these videos for y'all. If you don't know me, I am Danielle. Um, and if you are returning, thank you for coming back and enjoying my videos. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all have a blessed day or night whenever y'all are watching this. And please, guys, stay safe. Um, take everything seriously and with the utmost precaution, guys. This is not a joke. Um, and even if you think, oh, I'll be fine, think about the other people whose immune systems aren't as good as yours. So just do us all a favor. Do the world a favor and self-quarantine. Just stay inside, please. Um, for two weeks, for a month, however long that the government says that we need to stay inside. Please listen to the government. Some of y'all, some people are anti-government. I was about to say some of y'all. No, I'm not talking about y'all. But um, we all know somebody that's anti-government. So they're like, oh, I don't care what the government says. I'm going to do what I want. I let's not be insensitive and let's be sensitive about this situation. There's... We all have loved ones, okay? And if your loved one got sick, you would really hate that. You would really hate that. But you see other people getting sick and you're just like, go, oh, I'm still gonna do what I want. No, think about your loved ones and think about those other people. Everybody stay inside. Um, just stay inside, okay? <laughs> Catch up on your Netflix movies or shows. Catch up on your Netflix shows. Um, do your homework, kids. Uh, <laughs> Um, clean your room and just hang out with your family, okay? It doesn't mean just because you're self-quarantining doesn't mean you need to lock yourself up in your room and not talk to your family. Go out of your room and talk to your family. All hang out in the living room. But when it comes to visiting people, don't, okay? FaceTime them. Send them a letter. It's been a while, right? If you got some stamps, go write a letter and... <laughs> Put it in the freaking envelope and put the stamp on it and mail a freaking letter to somebody, okay? This is a great time to catch up on the people that you kind of neglected because of your busy, busy schedule. Um, so now that we're not busy and we're all inside, <laughs> let me stop. But please guys, just listen. Just hang in there and don't give up. Be hopeful. Don't talk about all that negative stuff. Please don't put ne negativity in the air. We're all about manifesting positivity. So that's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna manifest positive outcomes that this will all pass and we will be better. We will get through this and we will be better on the other side, okay? So just please do what you gotta do and be responsible. Be responsible for not only yourself but the safety of others. This world is not just your world. We share this world with so many people. So at times like this, we have to be selfless and sacrifice. And if sacrifice means just stay at home, is that really a big sacrifice? Um, I understand people need to go to work and I really feel for them and I really hope that the government can help out and find a way to pay these people, um, give them some money so they can pay their rent and their bills um, so that they can survive. Um, but yeah, this is a pandemic. It's going crazy. It's gotten out of hand, but everything will get be much better. Everything will get better, okay guys? So just do what you gotta do. Things will only get better if we do our part, which is to self-quarantine and keep our distance from others.
as much as we can, okay? So I love you guys. <laughs> stay safe out there. Um, stay safe out stuff. Stay inside, okay? Stay inside. Love you guys. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Please subscribe and click on the bell for a notification when I post another video because my videos are never consistent. I'm sorry guys, but I love y'all and if y'all like seeing my face, subscribe um, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys. Mwah.